Oh, you love the camera, Beth. I'm ready. Oh! <laughs> Sick one! <laughs> Hello all and welcome back to the Creswell Wanderers Women YouTube channel. I hope you have had a good week since you last saw us. I just want to say thank you to everyone that has subscribed to the channel so far and liked and commented on our videos. Your support is much appreciated. We're at home today against Whirly Pumas. Let's see how we get on. But first, you're starting 11 today. In goal, we've got Nat the Cat. In front of her, we've got Jess the Mop. Either side of her, we've got Shelly T and Kate. On the wings, we've got Roxy and Beth. In holding position is Rachel. In front of her, we've got Deeks and Tash with Kelly and Sophie up front. We're playing a formation of 3-5-2 and our subs today are Danny, Liv, Maddie, Savage, me and Lou. I have a quad injury and Savage hurt her foot earlier on in the week and therefore we are not being risked to play today due to having top of the league next week in Staffordshire, Victoria. You've got Sophie the captain there going up for the coin toss and we do end up having to switch sides. And kick off. So the first action of the game comes from the right hand side. We've got Kelly on the ball. She tries to play it across to I think it's Tash but it's missed. Uh, Beth gets onto that. She goes to take a shot and it's cleared by the defender for the first corner of the game. That corner is whipped in by Kel and it's 1-0. <laughs> um, a bit of a strange goal there but I'm going to give it to Beth. If you watch it does come off her back last. Not that she knows much about it but they all count. We, we're literally only a minute into the game so it's unreal that we're already 1-0 up. Kelly definitely wants to claim that as her own but it's definitely Beth's goal. Kick off. We are straight on the offence after the kickoff. Beth collects the ball down the left hand side and she fires one deep towards the back post where it just goes over Sophie's head but Roxy's there to try and get on the end of that and it's cleared again for another corner. It's whipped in again by Kelly this time on the right hand side. It's straight into the penalty spot where Beth's there to head it in for a second goal of the game. Literally, I don't know, about two minutes played now, maybe not even that. And Creswell already 2-0 up. It's, you know, you can't ask for a better start than this. Keep it up, man. Keep it up. Um, you know, they're definitely struggling on set pieces and I think that we're going to get a lot of joy from those. So, Creswell 2, Whirly Pumas 0, two minutes into the game. And uh, there's Jason just reminding us of the score. Cheers, Jason. Kick off. Straight from that, um, they try and play it around the back. Kelly's on them like a shark that's just smelt blood in the ocean. She's straight on it and she just collects it. She takes it down the right-hand side. She hits the shot early. And that is top bins. It's 3-0 already. I don't even know what to tell you guys, honestly. Like, you know, it, it just... Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Before I've even had a chance to catch my breath, Sophie's played the ball through for Kel. She takes a touch, she turns, she spins, and it's in the bottom corner. I just don't even know what's going on. It's 4-0. It's 4-0. Believe it or not, it's 4-0. We've got Jess playing the ball down the line for Kelly now. I swear she didn't have any breakfast this morning because she was super hungry. She can't get there. She gets mad. She boots the ball off the fence and nearly takes her own head off. I told Tasha I would leave this in and I did look at this for a half volley down the line to Soph. She gets on the end of that and she tries carrying it towards the byline. She's got a few defenders on her now but you can see Kelly's free and she tries to cut it across to her but it's easy for the keeper to collect. I've known Kelly a long time and let me tell you now she's a ruthless striker. So they try and take a goal kick. Um, they play it short to number two but Kelly's on her like a cat pouncing on a butterfly. She takes it around her. She literally carries it through and then she has a shot at the near post and somehow that creeps in. Just unreal. It's 5-0. No, it's not. It's behind the goal. No, it went it went behind the goal. I think. No. That was it. But she had to go behind the goal to get it. Kick off. So here you can see that. Whirly are lining up for another goal kick. Um, they're going to look to play this short to the number two again. She has just enough time to take a touch. She tries to play it past Kel who gets it off her. She literally sees Tash free and she's there to just nick it towards the back post. It's 6-0. It's just been absolutely ruthless. The girls have not stopped. They've just kept putting the pressure on and they've got their rewards with 6-0 up already. It, there's only been, I mean, what, we've got four goals in six minutes and we've just carried on. So here you got a throw-in played into Kelly. She takes a touch. She sees the run of Sophie. She puts it in the perfect area for her. She tries to flick it over the keeper and it goes just wide. It's really unlucky, but that could have been seven. 
So here we've got Nat taking a kick. It's collected in the middle by Tash. She takes a touch. She plays it back to, I think that was Shelly too, who puts it out on the right and is flicked around the corner to Rach, who tries to put it out on the right-hand side, but that will run out for a throw-in, which is super unlucky. It's a good play from the goals. And that brings us to half-time. Just before we get underway here, if you are new to the channel, remember to subscribe and like the video. The second half begins. Just like the first half, the first chance of the second half comes from a corner. It's whipped across the face of goal, but there's no one there to get on the end of it, and the defender sees that go out for a goal kick. We have a throw-in on the left-hand side towards the far side. That's fired in towards the middle. It's collected by Kelts, a little bit scrappy, but eventually that comes to Tash, who lays it back to Kate. She's looking to play this ball to Lou. The defender gets on top of that, but Lou pressures her well and forces her into a mistake. Rachel gets the ball down. They claim a foul there, but it's not given. Deeks collects it, carries on. She lays a nice ball through to Sophie, who's through on goal. And she finishes that perfectly right into the bottom corner. It's almost like watching slow motion, seeing that go in. But I'm glad Sophie's got a goal. It's nice work from Deeks in the middle and Rachel being nice and strong and playing the right ball through. And that puts us 7-0 up early on in the second half. It's good football from the girls. Let's carry on. Again, we kick off. Well, you've got a throw here. Um, they're going to try and play that down. You can see Liv is now on the pitch. Um, she's unlucky not to get anything on this. It comes back to Kate. Kate collects the ball. She plays it nicely inside to Deeks, who sees uh, Liv free here. She plays it again. She's tried to feed it through to Kelly. The defender blocks that one. Deeks uses her strength well. You know, she looks like she's going to play a pass. She turns a player well. She gets it out of her feet. She lays it through to Danny, who then pokes one through to Kelly. Kelly is now on goal. She's looking like she's going to play a ball across. The defender gets there well. And I can't work out why, but it's flagged offside. Kate plays a good ball here through to Danny. She pokes it around the corner to Soph, who loses the ball, and she's hungry to win that back. But uh, yeah, that's only a slight foul there, Soph. Only slight. Again, Sophie is eager to win the ball here. She gets around well. She collects. She's barged over, and the defender absolutely wallops the ball off her face here. It's just not a pretty one to look at. So Liv takes a trip there. You can definitely tell she's checking that no one saw it, but Kate definitely noticed it. Oh, believe me, Kate. I don't miss a thing. Jokes aside, Jess says thou shall not pass here. Um... You can see Sophie's chasing the ball here. Number two is literally just trying everything to shove her. She's not looking to play the ball. Sophie gets a little bit mad and again, <laughs> it's a bit of a nasty challenge. Uh, at the time, I didn't realise how bad it was, but watching this, I'm like, ouch. And then she rolls the ball as if we're going to get a corner instead of a free kick. I don't know, man. Calm down, Sophie. <laughs> And you all know what time it is. You see her, she's calling for the ball. She gets it on the right-hand side. She's ready to sell another hot dog this week, but this girl tells her that she don't have enough change. So, Roxy, she just sends her into next week instead. See you later. She lays a ball across to Tash, who eventually loses possession, and it's cleared out. It's easy in games like this to lose concentration and just start having shots from anywhere, but the girls kept it nice and neat and tidy. They played it along the floor as much as they could. And there's a good ball put through here to Danny. She is through on goal. All she's got to do is finish it, which she does. It goes over the keeper who gets a hand to it. And Danny gets her first goal for Creswell Wanderers. She's delighted with that one and look what it means to everybody else for her to get on the score sheet as well. Good stuff, Danny. Keep it up. She's definitely made a difference in the midfield for us, by the way. Massive difference. And we kick off. There had been a long spell in this game between goals, but I think after Danny's, the floodgates started to open again. And again, it's another mistake from a goal kick. Danny heads it back. Sophie gets a beautiful touch towards Kel, who just hits it. And it's just, yeah, it's an unreal finish again. It's good work from Sophie in the middle and Danny to get ahead in it and play that ball back forward. It's 9-0 to Creswell Wanderers. There's a throw-in on the far side taken by Worley. Their player can't get a foot on it, and it's well intercepted by Jess, who plays it back down the line. Danny again gets another good flick on to Kelly, who's working really hard, and she spots Liv free in the middle, who's there to get her first goal for Creswell as well. I think that's her first goal in a long time, and she's absolutely buzzing. As you can hear her say there, she never scores. It's good work from Liv, it's good play from Kel, and again, Danny linked up in all of that again, which makes it 10-0 to Creswell. And we kick off again. 
Kelly picks the ball up down that far side. It does get a touch off Whirly, which leaves us with a corner. You can see her taking it to the spot there, and it's really quick thinking from Kel. She decides to take it fast to Rachel, who picks the ball up. She takes a touch, and another touch. Actually, she doesn't. She just hits it, and it creeps in at the near post. It's another player who doesn't really score very often, but she's rewarded there. She makes it 11-0 to Creswell. It's been a dominant performance again. The girls never stop playing. They never got selfish. It's beautiful. And we kick off for the final time. And here you've got the pass of the season. Kate doesn't even have to watch where she's going. She just lays it back to Jess. And that brings us to full time. It's two wins on the bounce after a defeat on the opening day of the season two league. And the girls have done incredibly well to get, is it 17 goals in the last two games? Right, goal of the season, was it? <laughs> Big Jess. You want camera now? Uh -huh. Famous. And you can just see what it means to the players. And here I'm going to say it. We have to unleash the savage. Here she is. Got anything to say, Sav? Quality. <laughs> well played, Sav. Well played. Well played. Oh, yeah. Awesome. Minus the goals, girls. I think in the first half. And there you have it, there's another game done. Creswell are currently sitting top of the table on goal difference and we are away to Staffordshire Victoria next week. Thank you all for watching and we'll see you in the next one. Up the tangs.